Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we are unboxing the new Mavic Air. This is the latest drone by DJI, and as you guys know, I'm a huge drone fan. This new Mavic Air falls between the Spark and the Mavic, and we are about to do one of the first unboxings. And yes, I label my drones. The Mavic Air comes in three colors, as you can see illustrated right here. There's a black, a red, and a white. Don't be fooled, there's white on the front of the box, but this is actually the black version. Oh, I'm so excited to try this out. It also has smart captures. You can use hand gestures to control the drone. It'll recognize your palm, you can make it move around. More on that later. Oh, what? This is it. It has a little carrying case. Oh boy. Before we get into that, I wanna see what else is in this box. I'm just taking everything out. So let's start with the controller. This doesn't have the LCD like the Mavic does. These just unhinge like that, and this is right where your phone goes. One thing that I'm so excited about is it has removable joysticks because when you travel, it's so much easier to travel with these off. So it's pretty awesome that they have a little tiny place here to put those. So if you guys can see in there, that's right where these little joysticks just unscrew, and you put those right in there. Things were going so well. If you travel a lot with your drone, being able to take these off and have a secure place to store them is incredible. So previously I got this little 3D printed controller cover. It just slips right over top of those little joysticks and then you're able to travel, but this still is kind of annoying because it's still kind of elevated. But I want to show you guys the differences between the controllers. So this is the Mavic Air controller in comparison to the Mavic controller. As you can see, this one has the LCD on it. This is the Spark. It's about the same size. It has a glossier little top right here. Here we've got our Mavic Air accessories. Charger. We've got extra joysticks, cause as you know, you're probably gonna lose one or two. Extra adapters for your controller. The first thing that we have in the box is the power brick. So what you have here is two USB ports. And here is the plug that goes into your Mavic or your charging dock. Oh, whoa, yeah, ah! Guess what, everybody? This is a groundbreaking. We have got a USB C charger, it looks like. DJI, welcome to the club. We have a little converter, and this will convert from USB-C to micro USB. And we've got our extra joysticks, which is perfect. I'm so glad they included these. Depending upon what type of phone you have, they have two additional accessories. There's a micro USB and a USB-C. These are easily swapped out right here on the side. And on the other side, this one is currently rigged for your iPhone, so it has a lightning cable. There's also prop guards extra propellers. So because the Spark and the Air both can be gesture controlled with your hands, it is recommended that if you are doing that sort of behaviors, that you do put the prop guards on just to protect yourself. Or if you're a terrible drone pilot, definitely recommend doing this as well because if you hit a tree or something like that, this will protect your propellers and your drone from any little injuries. Here is an extra set of propellers. Thankfully they give you four of them. Start guide, oh wow, we. I'll look at that later. I just realized I didn't even open the drone yet. <laughs> what am I doing? <gasps> this is crazy. I'm just doing like a quick glance comparison between the Mavic and the Spark. And it really is a sweet child of them both. So upon first glance, one of the things that I like is the gimbal is extremely protected. As with the Spark, one of my main concerns when I first got this one or when I'm traveling with it is it doesn't have anything that is protecting the gimbal like this. Also on the Mavic, it has this little dome that keeps everything very safe and secure in transit. So before unfolding this thing, going over the size, this is the Mavic Platinum. This is the latest release from DJI. And this here is the Mavic Air that we just unboxed. So as you guys can see, it is significant significantly smaller than the Mavic. It seems to be about the same width, but as far as height, it just kind of looks like the Mavic if it got squished. The Spark's body is very, very small, but the only issue that I ever had with this one, other than the unprotected gimbal, is these arms did not fold in. Powering on and off, so it looks like the power button is on the bottom now. Our battery's dead, so I probably will be flying this tonight. We'll unfold the rear arms first, and then the forward. So back legs, front legs fold out. Something that's different between this and the Platinum and the Spark propellers is these ones do not fold in. So these just stay in this position. 
position. As you can see with the Mavic, they fold and they move so you can just quickly put those aside like that. Oh, this whole thing just comes off? This is like entirely newly designed and I really love the way that they're going. So here's what the gimbal looks like inside with the cover removed. It kind of just sort of folded out into itself. I always get so scared when I'm putting on the gimbal protectors on the Phantom drones because it's just kind of hanging there and then if you've ever done this before then you probably have the same feeling. I always feel like I'm gonna just break something. If you guys have a Mavic, this is also a big issue too is I always get so afraid because there's this little plastic thing right here that you just pull out, which will free your gimbal. Let's see what this battery looks like. Oh, I was really hoping that this would be a compatible battery with some other drones that I already have, but it definitely is not. This is an all new battery. What's in here? Is there gonna be a USB-C? Yes, there is. So right here in the front, this flips down and there's a little micro SD card slot and also a USB-C port right there in the front. Now that our unboxing is complete, I'm gonna go charge this thing up and then take it out for a test flight. Who's ready for a drone adventure? It is very windy, so there may be a chance we can't even fly. We'll see what happens. It is a really, really nice day today. We are out here about to test out the new Mavic Air. These come in two different models. The Fly More package is $9.99, which comes with two extra batteries, a traveling case, the controller, two extra sets of propellers, whereas the normal drone starts at $7.99, which is pretty much in between the Spark and the Mavic Pro. You'll get about 21 minutes of flight time, so depending upon how skilled you are, how windy it is, all those conditions will affect how much battery life you'll get. So we're test out a couple of the shooting modes. The first one they're gonna try out is 4K30. This will also shoot at 2.7, 60 frames a second, and also 1081. 20. So let's test them out and see what we can see. test out Smart Capture. So basically, Smart Capture will allow you to control your drone with the palm of your hand. So when you place your palm up, it'll recognize you and enter into follow mode. When you raise your hand up or down, left or to the right, the drone will follow you. Even if you put your palm down and start walking around, since it is in follow mode, it'll follow you wherever you go. You can also control the drone's directions. If you want it to move forward or backwards, you just drift your hands slightly apart or bring them back together to bring the drone closer to you. There's a few different gestures that you can do. If you hold up a peace sign, your drone will take your picture. If you hold up a little picture frame just like this, it'll start recording video. You can also land the drone using the palm control, but I got a little bit worried because I was in the sand and I didn't want it to get sandy, so I just landed it manually.
now we are flying with both of our drones in the air. So Nathan's Phantom 4 is filming my Mavic Air. It's a drone inception. Wow. Should I move somewhere? Do you want me to do something? Or like, should I just not move? Yeah, you can just fly around, fly around you a little bit and I'll follow you. Okay. How's this? You see me? Oh my God. You were scaring me. It looked like you were very close to me. <laughs> This thing's it's super industrial, 22,000 milliamps. So we've got the new Mophie, it's the AC adapter. So it has an AC input. So we're recharging this battery now for the Mavic Air through this Mophie. I'm ready for the apocalypse. Well guys, that concludes our Mavic Air flight test. I had so much fun flying this thing. Let me know what you guys think of the footage and let me know what you guys think of this sexy new little drone. Oh, I'm so excited to play with this thing more. Well, I'll see you guys later. You didn't let me fly. Oh shoot, I didn't. You didn't let me fly it at all. I didn't even let Nathan fly it. No, you didn't let me fly. This is this is complete bullcrap. Wait, I didn't get to fly it. I only have one battery. You didn't let, let Jenna fly I, it. I'm sorry. You didn't let, tomorrow you morning, we're gonna go fly some more, so. All right, good. Oh, all right, good. tomorrow morning we're gonna fly. Tomorrow morning we fly. Right.